Hello everyone, are you confused by all the options available among different Linux desktop environments? Do you want to know how they compare to and differ from one another? Well, I tested six popular Linux desktop environments, and here's my personal ranking of all of them. Enjoy and like the video. Number 6. Mate. Mate is basically a love letter to GNOME 2, faithfully recreating the look and feel of the classic Linux desktop environment from the early 2000s. If you're feeling nostalgic about the early days of desktop Linux, you might like using Mate. Furthermore, Mate also skips out on many modern functionalities like native HDR or Wayland support, which is simply a deal breaker for me. Not to mention that the entire visual look of Mate can potentially be replicated on GNOME by using extensions and themes. Number 5. Pantheon. Pantheon has always struck me as one of the more distinctive looking desktop environments out there. It offers a Mac OS style layout with a top panel showing system information and a bottom dock for pinned apps. However, instead of Apple's more polished and professional aesthetic, you get what feels to me like a somewhat cartoony and childish design language. Pantheon covers all the core features with some simple customization options like tweaking fonts and color schemes. It's a simple and reliable DE that might be a great pick for a kid's PC or in a classroom setting. Number four, Budgie. Budgie, like Cinnamon, is another desktop environment that aims for that elusive middle ground between GNOME's minimalism and KDE Plasma's deep customizability. However, Budgie's real claim to fame comes with its signature Raven sidebar, a pop-out panel that functions as a centralized hub for your media controls. Feels a lot like Windows 11's Notification Center. Other than this, Budgie lets you have multiple panels and add widgets to your panels. Number three, Cinnamon. Cinnamon tries to strike a balance between GNOME and KDE Plasma. It's more polished than KDE, yet not quite as sleek as GNOME. And it comes with more built-in functionality than GNOME, but still falls short of KDE's depth. While many like this middle ground, I personally find it a bit boring and uninspired. Now, Cinnamon was made by the Linux Mint team, and that's the distro I recommend for testing this DE. However, if you want a second option, I really like the Ubuntu Cinnamon Edition with its black-orange theme. Number 2. GNOME I've always had a bit of a love-hate relationship with GNOME. I love how it looks and feels with its polished and modern aesthetics. It's easily the most cohesive DE when it comes to design language. However, when it comes to features and functionality. Number 1. KDE Plasma KD Plasma has been my favorite Linux desktop environment for years, and for good reason. It's simply the most powerful, feature-rich, and endlessly customizable option out there. Even visually, the desktop environment offers a polished and modern appeal. What really sets Plasma apart is how it bakes advanced tools right into the desktop experience. Features that would require several third-party apps on other DEs. I'm talking about features like KDE Activities, the deep catalog of desktop and panel widgets, animated desktop effects, among others. Choosing a desktop environment is always a personal decision, and it really comes down to what matters to you, whether it's customization, features, resource usage, or just the way things look and feel. Try out a few, see what clicks, and don't be afraid to make it your own. Thank you. I hope I explained that well. Please share if you think this is helpful to others. More videos on my channel. Like and subscribe for more tips.